So we're here at Brands Hatch with both ends of the Taycan range as they stand. We've got a Turbo S and we've also got a 4S and together what we're hoping to do with those is to set out and achieve a total of 12 UK motorsport records with the pinnacle of them being the 1,000 kilometres. Brands Hatch has been the scene of a number of victories for Porsche and endurance racing, 1,000 kilometre races. We're celebrating and commemorating with our tribute liveries. We have a really good driver lineup. So these guys, they're used to going fast, but they're also proving very, very good at understanding how to just maximise their driving style to promote efficiency over the lap, which, uh, which I think is going to make us the difference. It's a totally different ball game. We've got a delta lap time to sort of aim at, averaging 70 kilowatt hours per 100 miles for energy consumption. And that, for me, that's been the difficult bit. I just got in from my first stint in the car and back out again later on, but really strange and quite unique experience, really. You're trying to, to do laps of brand hatch while trying to save energy, yet still trying to go quickly at the same time. The weird thing is that whereas you're kind of used to coming to a corner hot, brakes pitch it in. What you're doing is having to judge your braking and coming off and just literally carrying every mile an hour in, just let it scrub to the apex, and then you're just feeding in the power on the exit. The challenges of driving an electric vehicle, so you have to be very efficient with the way you drive. Obviously the complete opposite compared to what I'm used to. I mean, there's a lot of different driving styles and techniques you can use to get the absolute utmost from the vehicle. It's the first time I've driven a battery electric vehicle. It's great that it's a Porsche. The Taycan is obviously an exceptional car. It's, uh, it's made a big impact on the road and it's, uh, it's obviously the ideal vehicle to be the first one to try and take a record for battery electric vehicles on the circuit. So what was your usage then on the... Uh... Uh, 61.3. Oh, that's very good. The charging's really quick. We've got this huge, great charging unit from Germany and it's charging these Taycans to 80% in about, I think about 20, 25 minutes, which is really impressive. You can see why Porsche have won so many sports car races, because they've approached this in the same sort of scientific way. We're about halfway through at the moment, and fingers crossed everything will carry on to, to run smoothly and we'll end a successful day. We have 515 laps that we would need to cover to take the 12th and final record which is the 1000 kilometer record but there's 11 other records that are gradually tumbling as we get to that point. To get to the finish I think it's now two stints we've got to try and get about 70 laps out of each stint which right. is going to be tough in these conditions. Yeah. Yes car 70 Salzburg has completed the 1000 kilometers of it. It's getting close towards the end. We only had about 10-15% left, but we did it. Over the past 13 hours, we've just set 13 new UK records for EVs. We've done them all with two standard production Taycans. It's a phenomenal achievement, not least given that it's in mid-December, and it all wouldn't be possible without a phenomenal team of people at Porsche. It's been a fascinating day, really interesting, and I think these records are going to take quite a bit of beating. Yay!